As we know, AI is cooking, and it's only a matter of time before it impacts your job. But what if any idea you had, we can turn it 3D? What if you had a t-shirt, an image, a product, a graphic, something that you wanted to turn into a 3D model? What if I had a website you can use, sign up for, and it was totally free? Yeah, that's right, come on in, and in under 10 minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to use this tool. Other than that, subscribe, like the channel, let's get into it. All right, people, the website is called meshy.ai. And look, I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna show you some different stuff on the screen just so you can get a feel for what this tool can actually do. All right, so right here, what they're going to do is help you make 3D different textures, editing, uh, characters, graphics, projects, all sorts of things. So whether you're making a video game, a TV show, uh, a one-off piece, they have all the stuff you need. Here's what I like about it. They have a meshy Discord. Now this Discord is dope. I don't know if y'all ever got into the NFT times or anything like that, but it's a community of people that's gonna go ahead and help you answer questions, help guide you to where you need to be guided to. And it's like a support system, you dig what I'm saying? So imagine if you making new graphics, new characters, and you wanna share it with somebody, you wanna bounce a question off somebody, they got that community for you. And look here, they have a bunch of different plugins. So if you a real, you know, editor, graphic designer, or something like that, you probably know more about this than I do. So whether you use an Unreal Engine, Unity, Godot, Blender, all of the above, they have it right here, built all in and it integrates. So whatever character you make can be transferred or edited over there. Next, they make it super simple. For people like you and I, we don't really know coding that well. We don't know how to make, I don't even know how to use Blender. You get what I'm saying? So what they have here is a text to 3D. That's my favorite. That's what I'm gonna show you in this couple seconds of how to use your text and your words and to turn that into a captivating image. We gonna go over that. Next is an image of 3D. So if you wanna upload a picture of something, you have an image of whatever t-shirt, character, mock-up thing you want, you can upload that and they'll turn that 3D. And then you can add texture and layers and different stuff like that to it. You see AI texturing. So they generate textures from prompts or images you upload, just like I spoke about and text to image. So even if you wanna make a regular image that's not 3D yet, they can do that as well. So look here and let's go to, let's go to trending. All right, so we're here under trending and these are some of the most trending new characters and models that they've made. So you see all these different things. I'm gonna just do a quick little scroll through so you can see some of these, look at that, buildings. And I know some of y'all like to make characters for your video games, uh, for your business. This will be a great site to go ahead and grab something like this and then you can go ahead and remix it if you wanna re-rock it and turn it into your own. Or you can download the assets right from here and just start using it. And look, and what I want you to do is understand when you're watching this video, make sure you enter this competition. They're even having a challenge right here where see who can make the most weird and wonderful creatures. So that's just something to keep in mind too. It's always exciting, always eventful here. They're always making new updates. So let's get into how this actually works. And remember, anything you see in the video, if you want this tool and you wanna sign up for absolutely free, it's gonna be in the description below. Thank you. All right, so boom, I wanna do text to 3D, take what I'm thinking in my mind, can it make it in reality? I said I want a 3D Pokemon Pikachu and look at this. Pikachu spinning around in circles. Um, I had a couple different iterations of it. I have another one, you see it's kind of detailed. And you, we can do, let's do another one for the sake of this demonstration. Let's just say we want a 3D monster. And when you go ahead and press generate, you see you can start doing stuff in the background. The image is already working on bro. In less than one minute, you will have a 3D rendering. And I want you to see how cheap it is, it's 10 cents. So also realize you can start using this for totally free by the way, but just to generate anything is literally 10 coins, which is nothing. So while that's working in the background, let's see what we can do with one of the Pikachus that we've selected. So let's say we wanted this Pikachu here. So if we wanted this Pikachu here, you press this and you will be able to do different target poly counts fixed, adaptive max. And what I wanna do is I wanna generate some textures. So I'm gonna say confirm, yes. The texture is what's gonna give us the different layers and start making Pikachu look like Pikachu. And as you see in real time, our, the 3D monsters we had to make, it took no effort, but I'm here chopping it up with y'all in the Sonics jersey, watching these characters be made. So let's see what it created. And here you see on the screen, these are the 3D monsters. So look at this, bro. Look how cool these are. And again, if you wanted to use one of these and you wanted to add texture, color, depth to it, you just click whichever one you want and you press yes, press confirm. And just like that, you'll be able to start adding texture to whatever it is that you want. I think these are so cool, bro. And it's so cool to see something that you have with just a text and you don't know coding and you can bring it to life. You can bring it to, you know, make it into a toy. To me, that's fire. Imagine if you got a kid, a niece, a nephew yourself, you like anime, Pokemon, or your kid want a toy. Bro, you can make something that they use their imagination to. You can teach them how to do it, you feel me? Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what it made for us. 
Look at this, people. Look at this Pikachu. So here we have a Pikachu. You can look at it from all surroundings. In his hand, he has an alarm clock. Look at this, bro. So it made us a 3D Pikachu, right? You can reuse the prompt. You can go ahead and, and see everything that it has. So the model seating, the data was created, the symmetry, all of the above. You can re-rock it. You can re-texture it. You get four free entries. Look, what, is, what did I say? Free entry, you get four left. Free ski. I know y'all want everything for free and you're worried about the cost of everything. Okay, y'all, so I want y'all to remember, whether you are super duper Steven Spielberg editor, a producer, you know how to make the best graphic design in the world or the best 3D rendering, this is something for people that makes it simple. So if you have a kid and you want to make a toy or even if it's for yourself, you want to make your own statues, your own things that you like, you can literally come here, make your 3D character, bro. And you can sign up for this tool for free. You can download all the assets you need and then you can go ahead and export it to wherever you need to export it to. Or they have the plugin built in for you. So you can literally be on your software you use and you can link it right here and download everything you need. This is Meshi AI. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments. I think it's a banger. And again, if you want anything that you've seen on this video, everything will be in the description below. So you can go ahead and click and start signing up for this tool right now. Tell them Session sent you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Daily gems being dropped. You did.